Hello folks, today's the 4th of October, what I've got to do today, I've done it on a previous video so I ain't going to film it again, I've got to treat Goldie again, so I've treated him, left him two days, well Dave done him first, left him two days then I treated him, I've left him two days and today's the day to treat him again, so I'll be able to have a look and see how he's progressing, I might film that just to see if there's any difference in the wound on him. Um, it all depends because obviously you just want to get the fish back in the water and it really did make me physically sick I ate it on stomach at all, like much people being cut out from surgery it don't bother me but when it's something like that it's your own and like I say it was off my best mate so it really did make me ill well, feel ill so I'll crack on and get back to you folks and folks I've got Goldie in the sanative he's just going to sleep now and the reason I've come back on I ain't going to film him in the tub, it ain't nice to watch. For some reason, that the sanitive that's in that tank that puts him to sleep, the wash seemed to have took a liking to it. I've had to scoop about eight washes out. Obviously, them fast asleep. <laughs> but now, I've got wash hanging round my ear holes now while I'm trying to treat Goldie. Which I, which I, uh, I the best, as you know, with wasps. So I just thought I'd inform you on that, folks. I'll have a look on the bottle after and I'll uh, I'll show you the box so you can see what it is and then you'll know yourselves then so uh, I'm going to crack on with him now he's just rolling over and I'll get back to you okay then folks a lot quicker today he's gone to sleep a lot quicker he's never been out the pill before since I had him apart from when we, we first treated him well we scraped him obviously first never been under um, anaesthetic took ages for him the first time Last time it did take as long, this time it seems to have gone down a lot quicker. I don't know whether to film it and show you, it, it is horrible really. I should show you so people can see what happens. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut you off here, I'm going to put a little clip of video on. And if I feel like it's okay to put it on, I'll put it on. If not, I ain't going to show it. So I'll get back to you. Like I say folks, it's very nice to look at. I put some on his... Hang off in at the back there, it looks a bit sore on the tip of his tail, it looks a little bit like fin rot, so I've, put, I've just put a bit of dressing on that, well PP, and you can see I've put the PP on his peck fin there and underneath, that looks hell of a lot worse than what it is folks, but uh, as you can see his gills are moving, so hopefully the yeah, eyes moving a bit more now, it does take about five minutes, four to five minutes for him to come round. I just thought this is part of kite keeping so you can understand how I'm feeling really bad about it and I've been able to control what's going on in my pond uh, like I say as far as I know now this is the last fish that's got this problem obviously I took all the fish out to check them maybe I should have done it from day one when I was going to put them in the in Mason's paddling pool a day I just thought I was going to stress more out, cause more problems. You do what you think's right. Did I do right? Oh, excuse me a bit, folks. Have I done right? I don't really know, folks. Still a learning curve, I suppose. You, 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 you know, I went to the show Sunday, listening to people, di different people was asking me, a lot of the koi tubers that was there, asking me how I was getting on. They all know that I'm, I'm struggling with my fish. I ain't the only person in the country that's struggling with them. You know how much I've spent, I keep on about it, but it's a never ending cost. More PP the weekend, just in case I need it. I can't think what else, I've, there's other things I've bought. It, it just sickens me to see my fish here, the way he is, folks, anyway. I'm feeling a bit sick again now, so I'm going to stop recording and uh, let's help, just help that he, he pulls through. But talking to Dave, we really don't think he will and the, uh, the annoying thing about it is around the, around the flesh wound like I've said on the video at the show there's no rot or bacteria or infection or nothing around the wounds at all the, the, all the wounds the flesh is, is clean crystal clean there's, there's no bacteria issues nothing on, 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 the, on the flesh that's the annoying part about it it's, it's like them just rotting away for some reason now I did have this problem a, a great many years ago I bought koi from Israeli koi. First time I'd bought fish in years and years. That's that's when we when I had the uh, the natural pond 
and I started by getting into koi then and I bought a couple of koi and I will let them from but I ain't gonna mention it I bought them and it was a disease from Israel and to be fair it's exactly the same problems of what I've got now they was rotting now I did, I did have some green algae around their wounds like, the, like the, the algae that you have growing on your liner same sort of thing grabbing off the wounds clean the wounds up put them back in and I lost them and you've heard me say before blue he was as big as this one or maybe bigger same same thing I could do anything with him I could pick him up hold him I used to stand in the pool to, to sort the plants out and he'd come round by my feet stroke him crack him fish and I lost him but if you'd have seen him he, he must have had about eight of them sores all over him and some of all did then folks and I recommend anybody do it and you're probably going to laugh when I tell you he never had sanitive or nothing in them days I say them days anybody think I was over 100 anyway back in the day you'd have sanitives and stuff like that not as I was aware of anyway and like I say I could handle the fish he was bothered I put him on a towel dried his wounds off sorry about the reflection I dried his wounds off and believe it or not folks I used nappy cream you can tell how long it's, it's been my kids was in nappies well one of my kids was in nappies and I was using their nappy cream on the wounds almost identical to what you can see gold has got and I'd done that every couple of days I'd get him out dry him off nappy cream on and the, that flesh was exactly the same as gold it was crystal clear but it was exactly the same scenario as what I've had this year I had to go away for two weeks holiday well I had to go away it was booked so I went away treated him for I went um, my cousin Jean I was looking after him at the time then and the way he goes away whether it was because I worry that the day help because obviously you see me down on a daily basis you probably think it's after fish can miss you but they do and I lost him within the week I was, the first week I was away and I was devastated when I come back and so now you can understand how I feel with this one I've got here now and it ain't nothing that I've done as far as I know I'm no, just going to get a quick, quick flick let me just roll it, it's just, it's just it looks a bit bad here are, he's coming back up on his own his own steam now, his fins are giving. he will write yourself now, his tail's giving now, look he's starting to come back round, it's horrible to watch but it's pretty hard, he's upright now, that's that's the main thing the main thing is getting him back up as a fisherman when I've catch carp, I have specimen fisherman the biggest fish I've ever had was 17 and a half pound and that was, that was years ago that was so I have specimen, a specimen man, but when I, when I catch fish I land them and hook them. I'll keep them in that. A lot of a lot of your fisheries now, your, your platforms are so off the water. You have to use your landing net to put them back in. Not all of them, a lot of them, or a few of them, I suppose. But anyway, other than that, if I can reach the water by hand, I always hold them in my hands. And if you am a fisherman, you don't know when a fish is ready to give. It just picks its own steam up and away it goes, and you just let it give. The last thing you want is to put a fish in the pool and it, it goes belly up. That's a bad sign. Normally, thankfully. It's working on Galdi. All the other fishing coming round now. Wondering what's going on. I fed them this morning, they're all starving. I don't, I'll, I'll check, check the temperature in a minute. Chatting bubbles. I'll check the temperature and uh, I'll get back to you in a second.